Oh. Welcome to ASAS. Today, another photo editing tutorial to edit your beautiful portrait. Now, take a look at this uh, uh, picture we have here. <clears throat> I'm just going to unlock the photo. As you can see, the image, the brightness of the um, background and the one to our face is not actually matching. So we have on the background, we have uh, um, these yellow flowers which are saturated and also the face of the model and a skin not saturated. So also the background is actually bright. You can see all the, the brightest part of the background, which is the yellow, but it's actually brighter than a face. So we can confirm that by creating our um, solid layer, then dialing 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80. And then click OK. This will give you complete gray. And then when we switch it to color, you can see that uh, the background is actually brighter than a face, not a air over here. <coughs> not a air over here, but a face is actually dark, dark, and the uh, um, the color of the 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 brightness of the flower is actually brighter than face, and that is not how. Um, the image supposed to be the image the, in in a in, in a correct image the photo in the photo the face of the model needs to be needs to come out more and need no need to be brighter than the background yes that's what I want to say needs to be by, um, brighter than the background but here we have the other way around so let's see how we can correct this image <clears throat> so this is going to be a fast tutorial first of all. This is uh, is an exposure problem. So let's come here and click on the exposure tool. Now, if some uh, people actually think it's by bringing out our brightness to come in here, bringing our brightness, uh, contrast adjustment layer, and then increasing the brightness, and then after we increase the brightness, we come here and then. We click Control I and then take our brush tool and then brush over our face with the foreground color white and then boom we fix the image just like so. So we have this and then we start painting all over our uh, body. Then we say, oh, we're done editing the photo. We're done editing the photo. Now one thing about that is if you check the uh, the dark, the dark part of our clothes and the dark part of the image is not actually matching, so you know it's not actually the right tool to use. Also, you can check over here, not the same. So, to them, it might be a little bit correct, but it's not actually correct. So, back to our image. I'm going to get rid. it. Okay, I'm just going to leave it down. I'm going to use it to compare later. Let me take this one to the top, the color fill layer, and then let's turn on our uh, exposure layer. I'm going to bring it down so we have these two. I'm going to compare. Okay, just leave it. Let's go to our exposure tool. Let's get rid, let's leave it. I'm going to get rid of this one and then I'm going to come to the exposure tool. And then the only thing I'm going to adjust, we won't adjust the exposure because the exposure is not going to change anything. We just have to put this to zero. Where we're going to adjust is the gamma correction. One thing about the gamma correction is that it tells you uh, where in the picture needs to be bright and where the picture needs to be darker. So if you take it here, it's going to take, we bring it back and then if we bring it all the way up, you see the, it's telling you that, oh, these are the brighter part of the image. So we're just going to find a sweet spot for the image. So just about there. Let's zoom out and let's see what we have. So this will be okay. <clears throat> so let's take a look at our before and after. So you can see now the skin, the color, the brightness of our cloth is matching that of the grass and the brightness of our face is matching that of the uh, flowers. So you can increase it a little bit more if you're not actually okay with it and it won't get overexposed. It's just trying to correct the image. So. Let's leave it about 1.1 1. 
Okay, let's leave it about here. There about is okay. So turn before and then after. Now we have all the image, the color standing out. So <clears throat> if you're not okay with the way the brightness is, you can actually, you know, do some other adjustment. Now let's go to the saturation. Okay, let's take this slide a little bit below down there. Okay, so we have this. Let's compare it. Compare to this one and compare it to this one, which is actually giving you the overall brightness. If this, you see, is just too much, then bring it back down. So now, <clears throat> after that, you come right here, click on your um, U and saturation. The, um, the flowers are too saturated, so I'm just going to decrease the saturation of the flowers. And then we have somewhere here, it's okay a little bit more. So let's zoom out and see a before and after, before and after. So we have this before and after, before too saturated and after, sorry, less saturated. So we've gone from this, added uh, the gamma correction, and then we added this. So if you feel like it's not still bright enough, you can compare it with the brightness of this one. It's just too bright. I've deleted our layer, so you, you can tell with our um, with our color collection layer I deleted the other time. So it's just too bright. Even you can also use this one, but I won't use it. I won't actually use it. Oh, I'm actually adjusting. I'm talking about this. So adjusting the opacity to make our face more you know, brighter like this. Okay. So you can add it as another you know layer to make her pop out the more out of the image. So if I turn it off, you see she's not actually popping out the way the face not actually coming out the way it's supposed to come out. So from this, we will I'm going to remove the uh, uh, effect from some certain places. So I'll toggle on X and then I'm just going to with a little bit remove it from somewhere and around the neck. So just like so, so we have and this, so just a less, lesser effect it will create. So I'm going to increase this one over here to have something like that. So it's not going to be here. So okay, so we're good. No, it's a normal thing because her face is not she just needs to be as bright as you know the background over here because she's actually back in the sun. So let's leave it like this to make, I'm still going to reduce the opacity just about there, okay, it's okay. Now, we still need to add and correct the color of our, you know, skin. So I'm going to add um, color balance, not here and saturation, sorry, the lead color balance. Adding color balance and then I'm going to increase for the um, highlights. I'm going to decrease the yellow. I want it to affect only. So forget about what's happening on the background. I want only a skin. So let the target is a skin tone. So let's go. Decrease this one. Let's see. Let's add in some red. Okay. Not too much. Just a little bit of red. And green, no. Let's decrease the green a little bit. Let's go to the mid tone. And then I'm going to increase the blues. So we'll have this one like this. Decrease the green. Increase the red. Just a little bit. Okay, so let's go to the shadows. We can still adjust that later on. We have this. The red is getting too much. I can see that. So we're just going to balance it with that, with those. This is getting too much, so just there, just one, 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 one. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there. Okay, um, just there. Let's go back to the mid tones, mid tones. Okay, just a little bit of. Uh, let's go back and see what blue can do. Okay, then highlight, highlight green also. Or 
Okay, I just want to focus more. So let's look at before and then after brings out a skin color. So before and after. So that's what we have. Now we can actually remove it from the image. But I think I like it with the image itself. Something like this, Control I. And then we're going to paint over our face to bring out our skin tone, just our skin tone, just like that. And over our hand here. So something like this. <clears throat> So this is what I'm talking about. So this is before, you know, all those green, and these are after, <coughs> remove the greens. <coughs> so actually, I will actually leave, come back here, shift F5. I'm gonna fill it with black, and then invert it, control I, to invert the color. So I like it just like so. So let's make a little more adjustment, and then we're done. <coughs> I'm just gonna to go to levels, and then see how bright it is. So <clears throat> before we had start adding contrast, so I'm just going to decrease this a little bit. We we'll have white over here. We are not going to bring white down. It's going to make it more brighter. So just a little of that correction. I'm going to add another one, um, curves, and then I'm going to bring the curve down, just like. No, I don't want it bright. I want bring this up let's add some contrast bring this up and bring this down oh, okay down just a little bit up and down x curve let's see the contrast too much so decrease the fill something like just a little bit so let's see before after for just a little uh, adjustment okay so we are done with the photo we are done with the photo so it's a pretty photo now um, just because we brighten our face the flower here is not actually distracting anymore so unlike before it's actually distracting so let's add in um, vibrance and then we are done let's see if we can add some vibrance to it. I don't want to you know, saturate the image, just a little bit. Look at what it's actually doing. Just a little bit. Now, <clears throat> makes our face pop out the more. So, I'm going to put all this in a group, shift and hold this, and then put them in a group, and then we came from here to here. So if it's actually too bright, you can decrease the um, the brightness. Let's see if we can decrease the overall brightness or we, if that's too bright. So brightness, so from here to here. So let's see, turning it off, okay, to so this, decreasing the brightness a little bit. So if you want to make it more, uh, okay, I think that is okay for me. I like it like that. So if you want to also add another exposure to and then tune the gram gamma back a little bit. So I have to add, It'll be like, no, I don't want that. I think this is, this will do, this will do. Let's turn on the exposure zero. And the gamma is 9.1. I'm not going to take it all the way up. We already used that in balancing the photo. So we have this right here. So it just depends on how you arrange your you no know, adjustment layer. I'm just going to open the group and then I'm going to add these two on it. So there. And then we have before, we have after. So before, after. So there's other things you can actually do. I can actually click on the sharpen tool, or you can add it by using other method. I'm going to sharpen our face, just dab on it, and then 
the air so it comes out the more but if that effect is too much you can actually remove no remove it I guess the strength of the effect is too much control Z control Z control Z so I didn't know how many times I did that so but just a little bit of our eyes yeah our lips and our nose so just the feature of our face and some places that are you know bright just need to brighten and sharpen those areas so we're good we're good we're good and so that is the end of the you know tutorial if you also want to do some color grading but we are not here for color grading i think uh this the gamma just fixes everything in the photo just fixes everything in the photo so if you want to make the photo look like just the way it's saturated yeah you know what to do you can add some you know you and saturation and then bring out the saturation again so just like so so not too saturated 17 17 i guess um, 10 we do let's use a minimal number so 10 and then we have this so i hope you enjoyed the video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more um, tips and photography um uh, photography anything whatever so <clears throat> thank you so much for watching thank you so much for supporting the video don't forget to share don't forget to like and share your comments what do you think about the uh, videos we are uploading on ASA studio most importantly don't forget to subscribe see you in our next video thank you